The Anointing, the greatest gift one can receive. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Have you ever reached the end, your relentless pursuit of heaven on it? Successes of this world bring little contentment with strife and folly. You finally confess that you are broken and do not have the answer to it all. It is at the end of this finite wisdom that you open the door to that knocking that was always there but you never heard, that you grab the lifeline, the outstretched hand of a loving God that you scoffed at before due to your superior knowledge. It is then that something comes over you, a wave of healing, of peace, of love. A door opens to infinite wisdom, to gentleness. Your parched soul tastes water for the first time. The lies that encompass you shatters to the ground. For the first time you are in the arms of your father, a father that is faithful, merciful, loving, comforting and protecting. He will never forsake you, not even for a second. A constant companion lighting the path onto your feet. No more loneliness, no more suffering. A joy that washes over you at all times, that cannot be contained. John chapter 4 verse 10 Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. As your senses open up to this new companion, all your worries, your fears, your despairs, they are washed away to be replaced by a peace that surpasses all understanding. Your obedience to the Father brings forth new fruits in the midst of strife, hardships, and long-suffering. For you now walk with faith and trust in the constant companionship of the Holy Spirit. His wisdom and understanding guides your every step. Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. You are now adopted into a new family, once an orphan, now surrounded by an infinite love. You are grafted into the vine of the one true living God, with the promise of bearing good fruits, no longer surrounded by thorns and weeds, but with the promise of abundance and goodness. Remain grafted into the vine and continuously nourished. You will now become a new being as you feed more from this vine. Giving up the old, dying to the old, become that which you never dreamt of. John chapter 15 I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. For every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. As your love and oneness with the Holy Spirit grows, new fruits will be brought forth into your life, requiring no efforts, but naturally worth it, to give and distribute to the hungry wanderer to bear seeds for more trees to bear good fruit. The barrenness of the oppressed tree that you once were is barely a memory even, for a new heart is born. Luke chapter 6 verse 44 For every tree is known by its own fruit. For men do not gather figs from thorns, nor do they gather grapes from a bramble bush. Not a day goes by though, in spite of our grafting, that we fully exhibit the new vine. We still falter into the elements of the tones that we once were. 
that was so deeply rooted into our consciousness. He bears this daily for us as we sin, as we falter. He bears the pain for us and the suffering that we deserve. Whilst he nourishes us with love, gentleness, compassion and mercy, we offer him a crown of thorns in return. When will our love for our Lord present him with the figs that he loves so dearly, instead of the thorns to pierce his head? Isaiah 46 verse 3 Listen to me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, who have been upheld by me from birth, who have been carried from the womb, even to your old age I am he, and even to grey hairs I will carry you. I have made, and I will bear, even I will carry and will deliver you. As we listen, absorb and obey the word, as he guides us daily and we walk with fear and trembling, knowing that his word is truth and always bears fruits, our love will grow, our countenance will soften, beauty will shine forth and grow in abundance like the lilies in the valleys. Matthew chapter 6 verse 28 So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. When, where bitterness and anger once grew, where envy and darkness evoke barrenness, God now fills our hearts with splendor and an overflowing of joy and love. Our hearts sing new songs as we awake each day to draw ever closer and become more like the desire of our hearts. Only excellency comes forth from a heart rendered to the Lord. Isaiah 35 The wilderness and the wasteland shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice, even with joy and singing. What was merely an imagination, a glimpse of the things we dared not dream of, have become our new reality. We are now surrounded with all good things, great beauty and majesty that far exceeded our wildest dreams, knowing that even this is only a shadow of what lies ahead of us in the eternal home with our Heavenly Father. Colossians chapter 3 As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him, rooted and built up in Him, and established in the faith, as you have been told abounding in it with thanksgiving. First John chapter 2 Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and share. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57